What's up guys, this is Jem from Subtle Provisions and welcome back to another sneaker related review. On May 31st, Adidas released another Ultra Boost 3.0 bottle. I got this at Haven Shop Vancouver and it was in the Tech Rust colorway. It comes in your standard Adidas Ultra Boost yellow and purple box with the Boost branding along the sides. I went half a size down on this pair, so it's a US size 10 and the official colorway is black and copper. For the lateral and medial sides, the uppers are covered in jet black prime knit in the usual 3.0 pattern. The support cage for the lacing system is made of soft leather and the right pair comes with a tag real leather printed on it. Switching up to the back side, the black prime knit upper is reinforced with a textured matte black heel counter along with a tonal ultra boost label on the lateral sides. Flipping back to the front side, the breathable fabric upper covers the lightly reinforced toe box and the black shoelace is capped with the bronze lace tips. The tongueless design is finished on top with a reflective Adidas logo. A closer look on the sock liner, the padded lining is covered in soft black fabric with a boost marking at the back of the tongue. The removable insole has an Ultra Boost branding printed on its heel side. At the base of the sneaker, the full-length Boost midsole provides a good contrast of bronze from this all-black sneaker. As with most Ultra Boost 3.0, the outsole is made of continental rubber and the torsion system is detailed with a bronze shade. Now let's try this on. Unlike most black colorway sneakers, the bronze midsole gives the silhouette a refreshing look. It feels very comfortable and cozy, so I suggest going half a size down on the 3.0s. And as always, the fit never disappoints. When you're not sure of the fit, you should probably try to go through the size first. That's about it guys, thanks again for watching. Please leave a comment down below, let us know what you think of this pair. Don't forget to smash that like button, and if you like to see more sneaker related reviews, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one, and as always, keep it subtle.